I'm about to tell you guys why Taylor's is the most family-friendly suburb of Greenville, South Carolina. So keep your shoes off. Stay a while. Salutations, good people. I'm Josh, and today's video is all about the family-friendly Taylor's, South Carolina. While Greenville County as a whole has a lot to offer for families, Taylor's may just very well be the most ideal place if you're looking for a family-friendly atmosphere. So like I mentioned, Taylor's is a suburb of Greenville and it has a deep, rich history dating all the way back to the 1800s. Originally known as Tugaloo, Old Fields, the area was once home to Cherokee Indians and then was later settled on by European immigrants. The town was actually named after Zachary Taylor, who was the 12th president of the United States. Now, where is Taylor's exactly? Well, Taylor's is located just a few miles northeast of Greenville and is bordered by the Ennery River. The town is easily accessible from major highways and is just a short drive from the Greenville Spartanburg Airport, or GSP. Now, when it comes to size, Taylor's has approximately 25,000 people as of 2023, with a nice mix of families, young professionals, and retirees. The town has a friendly and welcoming atmosphere, and you can tell that the residents take pride in their community. Now, when talking about a family-friendly town, you can't leave out education, to which the town is home to several excellent schools, such as Taylor's Elementary, Northwood Middle School, and Eastside High School. You can rest easy knowing that these schools have a strong reputation for academic excellence, and they offer a huge variety of extracurricular activities for students. Speaking of extracurricular activities, Taylor's has a ton of opportunity for outdoor recreation. It has several parks and nature trails located throughout the area. For example, visiting Lake Robinson should be on your list of things to do and check out. It's a beautiful lake with plenty of opportunity for kids to enjoy and explore boat, kayak, and fish, or simply just enjoy a picnic by the water. Another recommendation is to take a trip to Paris Mountain State Park. Hiking, biking, and swimming are just a few things that you can do at Paris Mountain State Park. With keeping in the theme of things to do for family, you gotta check out the Greenville Zoo. The Greenville Zoo is an incredible place for families to take just a quick day trip to, and the kids are sure to love it. Now, nothing screams family-friendly more than the Children's Museum of the Upstate in Greenville. The museum is just a short drive from Taylor's, and it's going to offer hands-on exhibits for kids to get involved in that's sure to stimulate their creativity. Now, when talking about visiting Greenville, simply taking the family on a trip to downtown Greenville is going to offer a ton of things for the kids, such as candy shops, even more parks, and a lot of other things for the kids to get involved in. And yes, while this is a video about Taylor's, I'd be remiss not to have mentioned some things that the neighboring Greenville has to offer. Now, while Taylor's is a small town, it has a bustling downtown area with plenty of shops and restaurants. Of course, I've got to mention the Taylor's Mill. Now, the mill was a historic textile mill that has been converted into a mixed-use development. Since this conversion, it's pretty fair to say that the mill in Taylor's is the spot. Now, while there's a little something for the whole family at the mill in Taylor's, it's my belief that the kids are just going to overall enjoy checking out this awesome historic location. And yes, if you bring your dogs along, I'm sure they'll love it too. Now, if you're a family who loves to watch sports, the neighboring Greenville has the Greenville Drive. Greenville Drive is a minor league baseball team that plays at Floor Field right in the heart of Greenville. It's a great chance to take the kids to see a baseball game and just enjoy a day outdoors. Now, going back to education just a little bit, the Taylor's branch of the Greenville County Library System offers plenty of books, programs, and activities for kids of all ages. Now, while I did mention a lot about things to do in Greenville for the kids, it's important to note that Taylor's is just a short drive to Greenville, and when your family's done exploring and having a day in the town of Greenville, after it all is said and done, you can retreat back to your smaller town where it's a little tighter knit a much smaller community where I get the overall vibe that folks look after each other and take care of each other. And since living in the upstate of South Carolina my whole life, I've heard a lot of positive things about Taylor's. And yes, while there are family-friendly areas around Greenville, and Greenville being fairly family-friendly itself, Taylor's just might be on the top of the list when it comes to what would be ideal for your family. However, at the end of the day, what is right for your family is very subjective, and it's up for you to decide. 
Taylor's is an awesome and charming little town, and I hope today's video brought you up to speed when it comes to the town itself. Whether you're planning a visit or looking to relocate, I'd be happy to help make any of these things easier on you. My information will be right here. Text, call, email, I'll talk to you. If you found the video helpful at all, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell. Until next time, I've been Josh Oglesby with Real Broker LLC and Upstate SC Living. That's Dempsey, reminding you to work hard, be kind, and do enjoy yourselves.